Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm going to be doing just a little cooking video. Super quick and easy, simple spaghetti that you don't have to be a chef to make. Just super basic, simple spaghetti. Are you going to be my helper? Yeah. Yeah? Hey, Brianna. Help, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Go play. All right, so while they play, I'm going to go ahead and... Don't forget, I'm helping you with the skeddy. Yes, you can help me with the skeddy. I'm going to go ahead and Just finish up there. Alright guys, for this next part, I'm just stirring onions. What I did was take half an onion and dice it up. I added some salt and pepper and a little drizzle of olive oil and then just stirred it in the pan. Alright, so these are the seasonings I'm going to be adding. I just added in a pound of ground beef to my onions that I was sauteing. And then over here in the back I have water that I'm getting ready to turn stove on and start boiling. A good trick with boiling water for noodles is you just add a little bit of salt and you mix that up. The salt is going to help the water boil a little bit faster and also season up your um, season up your noodles. I also add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil into my water focus okay a little bit of olive oil to my water now a lot of chefs might say not to do that I just do a little bit because when you while the oil rises and it doesn't like soak in anything what it does is it coats the noodles when you first put them in and when you put them in it keeps them from sticking to each other then this already has salt in it. It is my little cute little dolphin salt shaker because I love dolphins. All right, this next step, you just want to continue browning your meat until it's fully brown. While all my stuff is cooking, I just have garlic bread in the oven. I don't know about anybody else, but I just love the sound of a good sizzle. All right, so next I'm gonna take one can of drained diced tomatoes and then two cans of Hunt's garlic and herb spaghetti sauce. All right, so my sauce is cooking on a low heat. Just to marinate all the flavors together. At this time you can taste it. You wanna make sure that the flavor is what you want it to be. Add more seasoning if you need to. All right, once your water is boiling, you wanna take whatever noodles you prefer. In this video, I'm gonna be using spaghetti noodles. So what I like to do is break the noodles in half and then drop them in the pan. And I like to try and drop them to where they would separate. All right, so what I'm looking for with my noodles is that my noodles are al dente. Al dente is when there is a slight bite to it. You don't want them too crunchy and you don't want them too mushy. All right, so my noodles are done. Now I'm just gonna strain them and add the sauce in with the noodles. Pan. Now in this part, you don't have to do this part, you can leave them separate and just plate it up with the noodles on top of, or the sauce on top of the noodles, or you can mix it all together and then serve it up like that. Now just mix, 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 mix. Just mix it all together till it's all nicely incorporated. So a little trick that I do. To make the spaghetti look pretty as you pinch it, put it on the plate, and twist it. And then it gets on there all nice and pretty. Alright, and that's it. And I just put a pretty little salad together, and there's the breadstick and the spaghetti, and I'm drinking water. Alright guys, and that was it for my quick and easy, simple spaghetti recipe. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like more recipes, go ahead and leave me some comments down below. If you like this video and you would like more, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of all my future videos, you know you got to hit that bell. Alright, see you next time.